How's it going guys? I'm your host Caravan Gaming and we have another very special video today as you guys can tell from the title already. One of the most frequently asked questions I've seen surrounding the game is, is a dragon amulet worth it? Well, let's find out in today's video. Before I start the video, I just recently launched my own Discord server, so if you guys are looking for a fun, friendly, and helpful community, then look no further. If you are new or returning player and have any burning questions or areas of the game you need help with, then you'll find that this Discord will be the perfect place for you with plenty of people to help you out and with none of the toxicity. The link to join is up on the screen and will be down in the comments as well. Hope to see you guys there. Dragon Fable was first released in 2006 and is now 16 years old as of 2022. A Dragon Amulet is a one-time payment of 1995 USD to basically unlock the entire game, save for the DC items which are items bought using the game's premium currency. So, in order to find out whether or not a 1995 one-time membership fee is worth it in a game that is 16 years old, we first have to see what benefits a Dragon Amulet gives us. Story I would say you can enjoy about 80-90% to 90 of the story without a Dragon Amulet and it would still make perfect cohesive sense even if you missed out on the quests which are exclusive to DA holders. Most of the main quests which are DA only are usually found in book 1 and is usually the last quest in the quest chain which only serves as a sort of epilogue to finish off the quest chain. Otherwise, they are usually side quests with no impact on the game's overarching main story. In recent years, the developers have moved away from locking quests and story behind this paywall and most, if not all recent quests, do not require a dragon amulet in any way to play or complete in its entirety. Story fights are also usually easy enough to complete without best in slot gear or a dragon amulet. If you have any difficulties with story bosses, then I have a playlist of me beating some of the harder story bosses using non-DA equipment and class skills. Link to that playlist in the top right hand corner of the screen now. With that being said, if you're someone who's only interested in the game's story, then I would not recommend getting a dragon amulet since you can get almost a full experience without it. Dragon I mean, it's called a dragon amulet, right? With a Dragon Amulet, you will be able to use the Dragon Rider class for Titan fights, very cool class to play with by the way, and customize how your dragon looks if you're not into that basic green. The Titan fights are especially prevalent in Book 1 as I mentioned in my previous point. The last quest in each of Book 1's questline usually involves a Titan fight with your fully grown dragon and you will only be able to experience this if you have a Dragon Amulet. That being said, Titan fights are usually far and few in between and even more so for the recent quests. Apart from the adult version, there is also the smaller pet version. The pet dragon is undoubtedly the best pet in the game and rightfully so. A dragon amulet allows you to use the right side of your pet dragon's skills, which are usually the better skills. A pet dragon with the ability to use the right side of its skills is usually a game changer for many of the tougher fights in the game. If you want to experience the full power of your world destroying dragon, then I would definitely recommend you to get a dragon amulet. DA only gear and bank a lot of higher level gear are usually DA only and while this can suck for players who do not have a DA, it's not to say that there aren't any good items for non-DA players at endgame. In fact, you guys can check out this video I made about top 10 strong easy to get items in the game, cut in the top right hand corner of the screen. 4 of the items don't even require a dragon amulet for their best versions. Most of the best in slot items in the game aren't actually DA tagged but you do need to have some skill in beating the challenge fights that reward them from the inn at the edge of time. I'll go through this in more detail in a later point. The bank is a DA only place where you can store an unlimited amount of DA and DC tagged items for free and this is very helpful for hoarders who have a lot of items whether it's because they like the item design or because they need it for specific in challenges. This being said however, if you don't have a DA then obviously you will not be keeping DA items in the first place. As such, I will say that if you are someone who likes collecting a lot of items in the game then a Dragon Amulet is a worthy purchase. Weapon Specials, Shown Equipment and Loadouts Dragon Amulet holders have the ability to slot weapon specials while using another weapon and this is very useful for certain in challenges where you need to optimize what gear you're using. You're also able to show another set of equipment that's different from your equipped one. While this serves no practical use in terms of gameplay, it's definitely a plus point for players who like to dress up and roleplay. Loadouts are the newest quality of life feature to come to the game and allows players with a dragon amulet to save up to 10 different loadouts and switch between them with a single click. I do have a video on the 10 loadouts I use, so if you need any ideas you can check that video out, link in the top right corner of the screen. To me, this is honestly just a convenience thing and it really doesn't take a long time at all to switch out all your gear manually. If you're someone who wants to beat the toughest in challenges or place a lot of emphasis on cosmetics and how your character looks, then you definitely want to purchase a dragon amulet. House DA players are able to buy their very own house in the game and decorate it with furniture. For the most part, house and furniture are really just for cosmetics and flex with the exception of two pieces of furniture. Firstly will be the armor closet which allows you to have a seasonal class saved even outside of the seasonal event. The only practical use for this is probably the Frost Mogling class for wars outside of the Frost Veil period as it is one of the best warring classes in the game. Next up will be the storybook collection furniture. 
Yes, this does come at a hefty 5000 DC price tag, 2500 during Black Friday, but it allows you to visit all the seasonal events during any time of the year. Great for players who may be busy during the holidays and want to play through those quests in their spare time, or for players who have yet to finish trading up their seasonal classes. If you like the idea of being able to buy your own house and decorate it with furniture, or if you value the idea of being able to play the seasonal quests and classes any time of the year, then it will be worth dropping that 20 bucks on a DA. Classes There are certain classes which are completely locked behind a Dragon Amulet like the Dragon Lock class and a Tealan classes, but for the most part, story classes in the game have the entire right side of their skills locked behind the Dragon Amulet, similar to the Dragon Pet. As with the Dragon Pet, these are usually some of the class's better skills and more often than not, are necessary for beating some of the tougher in challenge battles. Certain in challenges are also not doable by non-DA players because of this. That being said, most of the in challenges are doable by a non-DA, allowing you to get some best in slot items even as a completely free character. I have a playlist up on my channel of me beating the in challenge fights using non-DA gear and skills, link on the top right hand corner of the screen. So if you really want to compete at the top and beat some of the hardest challenges in the game, or you want to have the maximum fun out of each class, then a DA is most certainly necessary. On the topic of classes, this also brings me to my final point, the Doom Knight class. Widely regarded as one of the best classes in the entire game, this class can do it all, from warring, to questing, to bossing. With the purchase of a Dragon Amulet, you will unlock the option to buy a piece of the Doom Knight set every 6 months along with 10,000 DCs for 1995 USD. The option to purchase the Doom Knight class is unlocked after 24 months or 2 years. Additionally, at the end of the 2 years, if you haven't bought any of the Doom Knight packages prior, you will be able to buy all 4 of them along with the 40,000 DCs in a special package at a discounted price of 65 USD. Of course, this only concerns you if you're planning on playing this game in the long run and have the extra money to spare. So, to conclude, is a Dragon Amulet worth it in 2022? And to that, my answer is it depends entirely on you. What type of player are you? Which of the things I mentioned are important to you or do you value more? Do you think the one-time $20 membership fee is worth it in a game that is 16 years old? Only you have the answer to those questions. At the end of the day, everybody is different. There are some who wouldn't hesitate to drop a couple hundred or even a couple thousand dollars on a game they truly enjoy. And in the same vein, there are also those who wouldn't spend a single dime on games. I hope this video has helped you in making the decision. Did I miss out anything? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host Corybang Gaming. Peace out.